Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing five beauty products that I have really been enjoying lately. And the first thing that I've been really enjoying lately is the a, uh, shampoo bar from Lush. And I just have it in this little tin so that it doesn't melt away. And uh, the one that I've been really enjoying is this one. And uh, this is the shampoo uh, bar called Copperhead. And this is specifically meant for people who dye their hair like I do. And my hair just doesn't bleed when I use this. Um, it's like it doesn't do anything to my color. It just cleans my hair and lets my color like stay in like it was. So when I want to keep the color in my hair, I love using this bar because it just doesn't bother my color at all. And uh, I'm not going to say that it smells amazing because personally, I don't think it does. But this has a lot of really amazing properties for your hair and it is a shampoo bar as opposed to shampoo in a bottle which means that it also is a lot more eco-friendly than using any other shampoo that I own. If you have dyed hair and you like the thought of trying out a shampoo bar, I would really recommend giving Copperhead a try. I sat down on Lush's website and I did some research on which shampoo bar would probably be better for me. And Copperhead was the one that like popped out to me, like this one is the one that I need to give a try. Now, after I get out of the shower, I usually use this uh, Do It All BB Cream Leave-In Hair Perfector. And this is from HBM. As you can tell, I got this on sale. And as you can also tell, I have used this a lot. Um, and this is basically just a leave-in, well they call it a BB cream, but like a leave-in conditioner type of thing. So I just squeeze like a... I was going to see a pee, but I use more than that just like a little bit into my hand and I like squeeze my hands together and I like scrunch my hair up with my hair upside down uh, to give it a little bit more texture and I have some curls like you can see right here this is uh, my own hair texture um, to like amp them up a little bit make them a little bit more visible especially in the front hair where there is pretty much just straight hair and um, this one is doing wonders I do believe this is not available anymore though which sucks because I have been really enjoying this and um, if you have anything that you use that works great let me know what it is um, this is specifically uh, meant to be used for wet hair though um, and uh, it says to just work through wet hair with your fingers or a comb and then blow dry or leave to air dry um, I obviously just don't do like this kind of thing that I do with my oils I just uh, put my hair upside down and I like scrunch my hair up to create some uh, curls and texture. And then the last thing that I've been enjoying that's been like hair things is this Shine of the Time High Gloss Hair Mist from Giovanni. And uh, this is Eco Cheek Hair Care which is cool. Um, and um, obviously all the items that I'm talking about are cruelty free. But this is just a little clear spray that you can spray in your hair. And this makes your hair so shiny. It is insane. Um, and you really don't use a lot. I usually just stand under it and I spray it upwards. And then I just let it fall down onto my head. And you're supposed to use this once you have finished your like hair styling. I really don't style my hair a lot. I put it like this in a braid, in a ponytail, pigtails or in a bun. That's typically what I go for. Or sometimes I have these like little um, mini pigtails like back here. But that's pretty much what I do for my hair. I'm really not a creative person when it comes to hairstyles. Um, but yeah, this one just makes everything look so shiny and done and it says that it is a silicone finishing mist So if you don't want to put silicone on your hair, don't use this uh, But this is obviously just supposed to create shine. It's not supposed to hydrate your hair or anything like that And it really does work a lot So I haven't had this very long. Honestly, I've just had it for a few weeks but it's just become a habit, just like spray a little bit and like up in the air or in front of me and walk through it before I walk out the door and it just makes my hair look really nice and shiny. Next thing I have really been enjoying lately, I also haven't had for very long, uh, but this is the AOA Studio Wonder Liquid Eyeliner and this is $1 from Shop Miss A. And uh, this is a cruelty free eyeliner and um... The thing that I probably mostly love about this is, first off, it doesn't run or anything like that, even if you have a little bit of humidity or your eyes are running, which I think is amazing. 
and then it's like a little dip um, dip liner but it has a brush tip and not a felt tip which is amazing it's so much easier to work with probably maybe takes a little bit more practice if you are quite new to eyeliners but it's just so easy to work with and I've always or for like the at least the fast past few years I've been more of a uh, like pencil person where you hold it like a sharpie so it was a little bit um, of a getting used to using a, a dip liner again but this just works really really well and like you can't say anything about the price because just dollar makeup for a dollar in general is fantastic and when it actually works too like works really well too that's like a plus in my book and the last thing that I've been loving lately is this perfume and this is Saint from Kat Von D. This is just the a little uh, travel size kind of thing and this has a spray and not a roller which I appreciate so much. So you can probably see here that it's almost done. I have up to here left which with perfume and I do want to get a bigger size once I finish this but I do have some other perfumes that I also also should be working through I just first of all I just love the packaging it just looks so sleek with these little skulls and the white and black I ha know they have center as well I have not tried that one um, I smelled them both in store and um, Saint was the one that spoke to me so this is the one that I bought and I bought this when I was in the States uh, I think it was two and a half years ago actually but I was working on a different perfume back then so I had to wait while I had to wait until I could actually be using this but now I'm using this every single day and uh, it's running out quite quickly which is a shame but that's what you get for buying the small one this is 10 milliliters which I guess is the standard rollerball size and uh, it's like a third of an ounce and I know there's a lot of controversy about Kat Von D going around but I just I'm, there's too much drama, I just can't. So, but this perfume is good and I want to get a bigger size. Um, we're going to um, the US in March next year, so I'll probably just pick up a bigger size then. Anyway, those were some things that I have been loving lately. Um, I used to do a lot of favorites videos and I used to have a ton of things in them. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier when I just have like a few like this. It's a little bit easier to talk about because there's fewer products and it's also probably also easier for you so let me know if you want me to keep doing these like five things I've been liking every now and then and let me know some things that you've been loving down below whether it is skincare hair care makeup or perfume anything else that you've been enjoying lately because um, I think it's really fun to have a conversation going with you guys down in the comments and as you know I always reply to my comments as well if you like this video, please give it a big like, leave the comments down below, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!